Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So how you guys doing today, Cappies? I hope your weekend's going well, this long weekend. Ooh, so you have the Ten of Pentacles. What are you working this weekend, Capricorn? The Ten of Pentacles here. Let's see what's going on. The moon. Ooh. All right. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. You have Temperance here, Sagittarius energy. And let's get one more. This won't resonate with everybody, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cappies, and comment. Hit that notification bell. Two of Cups, Capricorn. So there's a lot of happiness here, but why is it, it it's either you're hiding it or it's being hidden from you right now and you can't see this. So let's see what's going on. But there is an angel between this here. So there's an angel bringing you and this person together. So let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. That's the ultimate, right? That's happiness. That's marriage. That's abundance. Tell me about the, whoops, the star. So there's a wish fulfillment here. There's healing. Ten of Wands. So this is from something is ending. So something new can begin. This could be something that you were working hard on. Maybe it's being seen by others with the star card here. So you could be in the spotlight, Capricorn. Whatever this is, it's very lucrative. Tell me more. Tell me more. The hanged man. You've been waiting for this moment. It's like you could be, you could have worked hard toward whatever this is, and now everything is falling into place. Tell me about the moon. Pisces energy. Why is this hidden? Three of Swords. Okay. So you're hiding some sadness. The High Priestess, you're really hiding this. You're keeping it secret here. Hmm. Interesting. So this could be what everybody's seeing on the outside, Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles, Star, Ten of Wands. Okay, that you're abundant, you're happy. You could even be committed to somebody. Right? Working hard, but inside, on the inside, you're crying. Why the Three of Swords? The Wheel of Fortune. There's something that you want to heal here. You get a lot of tens, a lot of endings, a lot of beginnings, right? So Jupiter may be coming in Capricorn to give you a helping hand here and change, change is upon you. Change is upon you. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. The Tower. Oh. So there's some big changes coming. And it saddens you. This could be in a love relationship. This could be anything, really. Five of Wands. A lot of inner conflict here. But through this inner conflict and heartbreak, there comes transformation. The sun, see? So the sun will come out tomorrow. They're giving me the sun. The sun, the sun will come out tomorrow. This is clarifying the angel here, temperance. 
So I feel like something's going to be illuminated to you through temperance. Nine of Swords. Yeah, I don't feel you will be able to see this if you are in the state of anxiety or fear. So try to remain balanced. Ace of Pentacles. An opportunity will be presented to you, illuminated to you. Tell me about the Two of Cups. The Eight of Wands. So there's somebody here, could be at a distance, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, you could have a couple people here with the Knight of Wands and Six of Pentacles that's juggling, Five of Swords, the Hermit. I feel like whatever this two of cups is, there's a lack of emotional vulnerability here. This could be why the Knight of Wands is here. More than one person, Page of Cups. So you're going to be getting a love offer, possibly from a couple of people, if you're not already involved with these people. But there's a lot you're keeping to yourself, a lot you're hiding. On the outside, everything seems fine, but there's a lot of healing happening on the inside, Capricorn. Queen of Cups. Could have to do with a Cancer. Scorpio Pisces. One of these individuals. Yeah, so you're going to have to make a choice. That could be the Three of Swords. There's something you need to let go of here. There's something you need to let go of. Wow. So what is your advice for Kathy's Nine of Cups. What is it that you want? They're wanting you to look at your wishes. What is this wish that you... What do you want for yourself? Because that is what you need to look at when you make this choice. What emotionally fulfills you? Right? What is your tenth cup? The devil. They're also saying, look at yourself, look at your shadow side, look at patterns of behavior, any toxicity that you're around or that you were around, anything that you can learn from prior experiences, from romantic relationships, from any sort of experience that may have been toxic. There's always a lesson, two of swords. Be careful about getting stuck, okay? King of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody in your environment could be rendering you stuck. Could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Hmm. Don't give your power away like that, okay? All right, let me get some oracle calls. What advice do you have for Capricorn? Capricorn, analyze. Your time is well spent analyzing, but only up to where you become too attached to any particular outcome. So be careful of analysis paralysis there, Capricorn, okay? Don't overthink. Curiosity. Be spontaneous, wonder, move forward, look ahead, and stretch above your present circumstances. So reach beyond what you know is. Okay, reach beyond whatever you're dreaming because there's something even bigger out there for you. Okay, you just have to believe it and know it. All right, Capricorn, 
I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. And also don't forget to subscribe to my new channel, Nature Speaks 333, where I channel messages from nature for the collective. You have a good one, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.